What do you mean his body isn't there? Philip clearly wasn't okay, profusely sweating and short of breath. He ran to the window in despair, only to have his fear come true. Although he had clearly seen Squidski's lifeless body hit the ground, the Squid Man had somehow disappeared without leaving any trace. Philip began to shake as his breath got shorter. Raising his trembling arm, he pointed at the window and commanded the active members to go after Squidski, emphasising that they may not kill him, for he might be useful against Doug. Before the active members could leave, Philip started questioning himself if there were any other traitors in his midst. Two traitors had just been exposed, it was clear he couldn't believe anyone at this point. But after a brief moment reflecting about this matter, Philip came up with an idea. Cat, wait, I'll have you do something else, said Philip. Please gather all admins, mods and active members at the library. Tell them it is time we discuss the betrayals. Cat nodded his head and left for the spiral staircase. Philip tried to hold onto the balcony rail, but as soon as Cat ran downstairs, Philip unexpectedly collapsed to the floor. I kneed besides him and then rested my hand on his forehead. He had fallen asleep. Maybe this fight made you weary after all, Philip, I whispered. I laid his head on my lap and let him rest for a while, slowly caressing his hair as he slept. After so much he had done to me, this was the least I could do. A few minutes later, Philip gently opened his eyes as I stared at them, those beautiful greenish eyes staring back at me after he had finally awakened. You could have killed me, he muttered. Even though you were Doug's maid, you didn't go for it. I've taken a liking to you, Ms. Jim. Philip, I... Philip interrupted me. Your leg. Wasn't it hit? I'll take you to the nursing room. There's no need for that. I'm already feeling better, I said as I slowly pushed him back onto my lap. He smiled at me and let out a single tear, admitting he hadn't slept that well for quite some time. My leg did hurt, but again, Philip's presence somehow made me feel better. I really didn't want to let go of him. He asked me if we could stay like that for longer, so close together. I couldn't refuse, but suddenly footsteps were heard coming from the spiral staircase. Fortunately, it was just Cat. Master Philip, I've gathered everyone. It is time. Cat was out of air from running too much. Philip stood up and extended his hand, asking me to join him in the meeting. He said I was an important piece to achieve Doug's defeat. Once again, I couldn't deny his wish, so we made our way to the library. We're heading to the VDC library. There you'll find all knowledge we've gathered throughout the years as mappers, remarked Philip. As I approached the library door, a strange man walked into me. He had a long brown beard and a yellow HEV suit. I instinctively apologised for the bump, but he didn't seem to care. So I just kept walking until I finally arrived at the library. From outside the door, we could see all admins, moderators and active members inside. The admins were sat on thrones in the middle of the library, having one throne left specially for Philip. He looked at me and said he had to join them in the middle, but that I couldn't go with him, so I just sat on a random empty bench. Alongside the admins and moderators were also in the middle, but sat on regular chairs instead of thrones. Well then stood up and demanded silence. The meeting was about to start. Admins, moderators and active members, I'd like to thank you for coming, proclaimed Philip as everyone clapped. I also would like to thank the MSI representatives that joined us today. Extra Cheesy Pie nodded his head, then Philip continued the meeting. As you know, in the last two days we have exposed two traitors among us. Philip continued on with his speech. It was noticeable some people were quite nervous regarding the subject. I tried to focus on Philip's blabber, but something in the back of the library caught my attention. The same man I had bumped into before was in the library. He wasn't wearing a yellow uniform, so he clearly wasn't an active member. I ignored Philip for a moment and tried to focus on this odd, bearded man. But suddenly, one of the moderators started yelling. Nonsense! There's no way that Squidski betrayed us! Do you even have proof, Philip? Yelled John Madden. His yelling had distracted me from focusing on the bearded man, whom had suddenly disappeared. I tried to track him amidst all the people in the library, but unfortunately didn't succeed. His disappearance had made me quite anxious as to whether he was after me or not. My head started aching and I felt like I had a fever. I couldn't focus on anything anymore and all the people screaming only made my headache worse. From the corner of my eye, I could see a hand. Someone was standing behind me and after swiftly touching my neck, they whisper, Hello, Miss Jim. I felt my neck being tightly gripped by a rope, which was entirely invisible. As I struggled to free myself from it, I tried screaming for help, but the rope had left me completely muted. By slightly turning my head, I could finally see the person behind me. 
It was him, the mysterious bearded man, whom I had never even talked to before, was trying to kill me. The man then pointed his finger at the ceiling and made a sign with his hand. The rope turned invisible and I was shot towards where he had pointed. By some reason, he was trying to hang me. At last, the people in the library had finally noticed I was being attacked. But to avoid being caught, the bearded man climbed one of the shelves using his ropes. What's going on here? Not Eagle, what are you doing? cried Philip. Do not move, filthy source mappers, or I shall kill her, calmly said Not Eagle. Wait, Miss Jim, is that you? Jim is a pathetic woman who doesn't deserve to be here. She stole my role as an active member. Even after doing so much for this community, I was not granted the active member role. Such pitiful injustice. I, the great gold source mapper, not Eagle, shall not allow you to rot injustice upon me. To be continued?